Today is the 22nd of February 2024, which means it has been one whole year exactly since we lost one of our lime trees and of course a load of events unfolded after that. So I'll probably at the weekend I'll do a big mash of every video, but today I just want to show you the video that I call the One Like Steel Magnolias. You only want to watch it once because it's quite upsetting, but it's still one of the most influential videos and where it all led to we're taking the count uh, we're taking north northamptonshire county council to court by we i don't mean me i mean wellingborough walks action group if you want to know more go over to saveourtrees.co.uk i think on the court case is on the 30th of april so if you want to go along let marion and the group know and they can arrange a coach for you and this could be cool but anyway let me show you the most heartbreaking video that I've ever made. I hope you enjoy. Well, after a lot of fussing and fighting, on day three, we lose the battle. But maybe not fully. But it's still an almighty blow. 84 year old gets arrested and a whole lot of other stuff goes on. I tried to keep it positive, but my God, don't this one hurt. Let me tell you the story. Good morning, you beautiful lot. Day three, it's the 22nd and it's a Wednesday. Um, well, last night they put up the fence, but also last night there was an interesting meeting over at Marks and Spencer's where the town MP met with the lovely Marion Turner Hall. And I saw a news release from North Ants Telegraph stating that he's asking for a, a, a pause. So that's going through the government. Oh, and then there was another one come from North Northamptonshire County Council from Mr. Smithers saying that um, they can't do nothing about it. So, Jamie Brady, the legend that he is, he came by last night and um, he was mentioning about the road closure. He says it hasn't been notified in any of the papers. You know, we all got told what, only a few days ago, even the meeting the councillors had, you know, to notify all of this. That weren't too long ago. So, looking at the legislation to close a road, it's got to be in the papers. They haven't done that. I've asked North Ants Telegraph, and Alison Bagley's come over with an awesome news report, well, um, an awesome email stating it all. So I've just been down to talk to the liaison officer, Chris, and he says they've got to get clarity on it. This road won't be closed until they've got clarity on that information. So Jamie Brady, mate, that you, you, were, you were only there for five minutes and you bloody done wonders. So here we all are again. Yep. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna relay on a minute. Damien and Aiden. Beautiful. So yeah, it seems because the road is temporary, the road closure is temporary, they don't have to notify anyone of the closure. So therefore they've got away with it. And third time just isn't so lucky. Yeah, she's a lot calmer today. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's got no one there off. Morning. Morning. Are you a bit calmer today? Yes. I'm right. she, she's definitely famous. <laughs> so, apparently machinery is starting to come down this road, but they're all going to stand on the road and do what they're doing. Of course, our mayor has turned up. Jonathan Eakins is a lovely fella, and he's actually done a report where he doesn't condole this, this kind of stuff been talking with him he's a lovely bloke got Jonathan Hornet as well so me all these lot are here so I'm getting out of here I'll see you lot later Josh oh my favorite train spotter buddy how you doing yeah yeah lovely intro and outro yesterday but I'm afraid I've got to go museum so um hold my spot hold my spot thank you Wow, look at this lot. 
Yorkie. They're all getting in the way of the lorry, stopping the machinery plant getting down here. That's mega. You've got the film crews running up the side. Oh, wow. Right, well, from what it looked like, I, I had to get out of there. Um, but I also had to pop into the museum as well. Because I have supposed to have been working this week. And I do apologise to Barbara Lees. I do apologise, Lovey. But this is quite important. So, anyway, the, the owner, the director, don't know what he is, Mr Robert Wharton of Wellingborough Museum, he says to me, he'd rather me be down here because he can't get down here himself. That's a thing of beauty. That's what you call a boss. So, I have no idea what I'm walking into down here. But I just passed a couple of uh, residents that were protesting and said there's a lot of police looking like they're going to make arrests soon. It's all getting a bit argy-bargy, so I'll try and keep my distance a little bit. I've been arrested once in my life. I don't fancy getting arrested again. Let's see what's going on down here. Should be interesting, eh? Oh. Yeah, there is a lot of police, isn't there? Oh, wow. I wonder if... Oh! What if? What if? What if? Well... Hmm... I wonder what awaits us around the corner. I think there's a... Uh. You know, I have no idea what's around the corner. How are we doing, gents? Is it all getting a bit exciting up there, is it? I'll come back and report. <laughs> what is going on up here? Oh, they're actually sitting down in front of the lorry. Ah, oh, brilliant. It's exactly how I left it. Now they've locked off the whole road. Look at that. No cars are getting up, no cars are getting down. That's amazing. Uh, and there's Josh coming to film me. <laughs> He's always filming me. How are you, Josh? I'm surprised you're not catching that. It's special coming through. There's a class 92006 coming, but you know, I've got more pressing matters at mind. Do you know what I mean? What's going on here then? Ooh. How are we doing? What's happening is you've got a Wellingborough legend being an absolute legend, a legend. and a legendess. Bloody right. Legendess. <laughs> it's a comfortable seat. Well done, uh, and well done to you, sir. Uh, amazing. Right. I've heard from the barrister, yeah. he said, you know, the legislation that I just showed you, yeah. even with a TTRO in place or a TRO, it, this doesn't stop being the highway. So it still applies that, the, that you can't have aggravated trespass on a highway as described in, in this section, section 5 of this piece of legislation. So what are you going to do? What he's going to do, you, you can listen to this to yourself, but what... He can provide us with legal advice just to clarify that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm just sort of sharing what he just told me now, what prior... Because he's in court. <laughs> he's just sending this from court. Yeah. So um, that's what's asking to, to convey to you, that the TTRO doesn't change the status of this being a highway. And that highway, you can't use it. The piece of legislation on the federal road is here. So if uh, if you want I can get him to send me that. Yes email, please, yeah, yeah. And then we'll clarify that. Yeah, yeah, Beautiful. So eleven, right. Which means so there's only five that should actually be felled or could even by any stretch of the law be felled 
Yeah, right. and, that's, when you and that's these these six are going to stay. Any stretch of, so, yeah. unless you have Any of the stretch of the conversation yeah. Yeah. has been going on in the last few days? Six so far, and then the right. five that can't be felt because of the activity of the... No, 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 no. No. Let's clarify. No. The only grounds from the planning position that identified any kind of trees that could be felled were 11 trees, seven on this side, four immediately on that side, yeah. Mm. But now it's been identified that, that how many is it? Five, six, six of that 11 can't be felled anyway. So the only ones that could be felled were five within. Okay. You should <laughs> <laughs> well, joined once again with the legendary Jamie Brady. That was amazing work you did last night, mate. Finding that rope closure yeah, stuff. Yeah. Well done. Making a, making a nuisance of yourself, are you? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Uniform fucks here. It's behind you, mate. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, sorry, can I, can I, can I just... Amia? Um, I'm just, they're, they're, the police are going to come and speak to you again in a minute, if you're still here, but I'm, nothing to do with me. Um, just about the barrister, he has been helping with some advice about the, the issue that we're in at the moment, but I, he hasn't been able as yet to give us the legal advice or the legal opinion that we're seeking, basically because he's got to do his day job. Um, so we're going to try, he's given me a name of someone else that might be able to help, but I'm still trying to seek that legal opinion because I still feel strongly there is a lawful, uh, sorry, there is a case here around the lawfulness of what's actually happening. It feels very strong that, that this is an unlawful action in, in potentially felling these trees. Um, I have tried to contact lots of other people for help, but we're not getting as far as I'd like. So obviously we bumped into literally Peter Bowen yesterday, and uh, he ha he has advised us that he's doing his best to try and get parties round the table and to create some kind of pause. Uh, um, but as I heard last night, the, that pause has not been agreed yet. Obviously, a pause between the developer and the, the council is a kind of voluntary thing. But I've heard that, that that's not been able to be agreed on either, well, I don't know on whose side, but you'd have to speak to Jason Smithers about that. Um, but that, that, that hasn't been arranged yet, but maybe it can. So we're, we're still hopeful, but we're still trying to get our legal opinion because I think that might be the only way that we can get some sort of um, injunction to stop this work. Yeah. Anyway, um, God bless you all and take care. And I'm, I'm pleased to see you anyway. Legend. Okay, that's a nice, that's a nice bit over there. Nice bit of grass. Um, temporary restrictions. Now I've been told this morning that apparently, because it's temporary, that doesn't have to be. The developer and the council, the road, uh, as it says here, the authority, should have published this in the newspapers seven days before. It apparently, it has been published. Well, it hasn't, though. No, it hasn't. We've had, we've had it from the, uh, the, the, yeah, the newspaper. From yeah, North Ants Telegraph, I have a whole so aim, email. I think if they publish it, yeah, but you're th you thinking that it's been published. It's not the same as it has. Well, I'm satisfied that they've met but their legal, legal obligations. But I'm not satisfied that they've met their legal obligations. Well, then that's something to discuss. I mean, I'm happy to stand over there. Well, that's something to discuss. But the thing is, is that if they're not doing what they're they're, they're supposed to. Why would you expect the people that don't want these trees to come down, the people that actually live and work and, 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 and reside in this area, to, 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 to stick with what you're telling is the law? I'm not Even though they're not, they're not following the law. This, you want this isn't the place to argue your defence. You've been given the warning already. Oh, well, I'm happy to stand over there. You know, if, 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 I just if, want to make sure that you're aware, obviously, you're obviously we're being filmed here. Yeah. So I just want to be... But where is the notice? Where is the, where is the notice that was put before North Northamptonshire Council to, to actually uh, close this road? It was not released to the press. No, it really wasn't, law, buddy. It really Road wasn't. Under the Act of 1992, Section 1215, they're supposed to have done that, and they haven't done that. Like I say, information I've got... Do you not have a copy of that? I'm satisfied that they've got their legal implications. Have you got a copy of that? I haven't got a copy of that. Okay, would, would you be able to get a copy? I can get a copy. stand over there. I can get a copy. Would you be able to get a copy? I'll see if I can get a copy. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah, we really do need to see that. 
like I say, you've been given the warning. You yeah, know, but that, you know that you have to move. Yeah. If you want, if you are arrested and you want to use that as defence in law, then that's up to you. But I'm not going to discuss that. Yeah, but well, can you, I'll try and get out of the cop. I will try and get out of the right, There we go. <laughs> Let's do this. I'd ask you please just to gather round to listen to what oh, my colleague is going me. to say. Oh, oh, I'm going to need this. Either side are going to issue you with the uh, basically printed version of what my colleague is going to say. Warren, look, folks. Yeah, sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry.
Or I should be four at bench. You do not have to say anything, but you may have your defence. You do not mention one question to me today. Why? Why didn't you say that? You would have to stand up. Could I just say, I'll come peacefully. I've got a very bad shoulder. Okay. But I'm not going to obstruct you in any way. That's fine. We'll help you up, sir. I don't think he needs help from us. Uh, look after him, guys. Come on, otherwise you'll be looking real bad here. No, we'll look after him. You better do. How strongly do you feel about this process, sir? I feel very strongly that these trees are going to be cut down. I think that's absolutely important, and I'm willing to do anything I can to stop that. Sorry. It's going in. Which side are you go inside? How old are you? 84. Oh, 84. 84. Yeah. I'm stepping to the back of the back. Laugh, One of Wellingborough's oldest resident that remembers these trees from when he was young. I'm just so glad we've got the news here all here. I really am. Wow, shocking. Um, yeah, all right. That choked me up quite a bit there. Um, it's quite horrible, so I'm gonna go sort myself out. I'll come back to you, all right. The old man was too much for Jonathan. That, that broke me, that did. Here we are, Richard Hall Limited. They're the ones who are gonna be doing the, uh, the tree chopping. <laughs> He's got to go off and go get another one and come back. As I've explained to some of you over the course of the last uh, day or two, uh, that is a public right of way. That is a your public right of way. Which is so, true. So once, once they've created it, uh, in between the cones and here, you can be in that area, step that side of the boat. Uh, police might want to move their backs. Yeah, what's your... yeah. Yeah, no one coming now. Well, I think this is all. Right, time for work, boys. Oh, my battery is running low. I may have to switch to my GoPro, but it looks like these guys have blocked these guys here too. I don't know what's going on. Oh. How are we doing, Sherry Ann? Yeah. How are we doing, darling? All right. All right, thank you. Yeah, how are yeah. you? Yeah, that's a lovely side of the fence there. Yeah. Mm, don't take offence. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty sad, isn't it? An 84-year-old man there, Anthony, what an absolute diamond you are. And Jonathan Hornet and everybody else, Jamie Brady, everybody joining the cause there. But I do think that could be 
the end of our trees. So they may not do any felling today, but I think tomorrow could be a different story. That's the way being is made up. 